Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, welcome back. So in this video, what I wanna do is have a little bit of fun um, with drawings that we've already created in Storyboard Pro. So what I'm gonna do is in the thumbnails panel, I'm gonna right click, and what I'd like to do is to duplicate this. Part of the reason I wanna do that is because I wanna modify and kinda of use this drawing that I already have to get a few more drawings out of it, okay? So once I've duplicated that, I still have my original right here. So I click on the second one. You know it's selected because it has a red border around it. And what I wanna do is go find this layer and I wanna duplicate that selected layer. You could just right click, duplicate, and you're all set. Now what I wanna do is go to the selection tool. I'm gonna go select the artwork from C1, okay? And I'm gonna zoom out so it's a little bit easier to see what's happening, because you can see all the selections. And I'm gonna just drag this in the other direction. And you can kind of see that I've got a new piece of artwork. I'm gonna shrink this down. Maybe give it a little bit of a rotation. Bring this up. And then I'm gonna slide this part right here. So again, I'm gonna just change that direction just a bit. Let me bring in this corner right here because I wanna be able to have that artwork. And let's just give it a little bit of a tilt, okay? Now I wanna to go to the original and I wanna take that other one. And then I'm gonna shrink this down also and kinda of change it up a bit because what I'm trying to get is a little bit of variation. So that way this artwork looks different than the last one but I don't wanna to do too much extra drawing because you know, there's uh, you know, why would you do that when you could just let me draw a little bit? Okay, I'm gonna shrink that down as well. And I think we're just about good. Okay, let me just uh, get these last couple pieces right there. Okay, so automatically with just one layer, we can click back between the two and we have a little bit different of a composition. So let's go try that with a couple of other things as well. So with this layer, I can right click and I can duplicate and modify that one as well. All right, so let's do that with this one. Um, and what I'll do is I'll right click this layer, let's duplicate. And what I'm gonna do with this one is, I'm gonna select this layer. Let me go and grab this stuff and I'm gonna delete it. Uh, let me hide this layer. This, this other one because I'm manipulating this one, okay? Let's take this leftover piece. I'm gonna flip that and make it go backwards. Let's give it a little bit of a stretch downwards. Let's shrink it a little bit. And there we go. Let's kind of, let's find a new home for it. And that looks about good right there. Let's leave a little bit of space above. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna go to this artwork right here, turn this on and then I'll select that as well. Let me give that a little bit of a shrink, bring this edge in right here, and then uh, let me scoot this over. Now all of a sudden, this drawing connects to this one. And you know, at this point I can go back and I can hopefully choose the right color. Yeah, that's a little darker. Hopefully choose the right color, and then what I'll do is um, continue the drawing and kind of add to it as well. Um, but you know, there's not really that much of a drawing chapter. This is more how can we manipulate and do some fun stuff, okay? So now that that's all set up, I've got a little bit different of a composition. Let's go and duplicate this last one as well. So let me go duplicate. And what I'll do is get the selection tool and I'm gonna shrink it inwards, make it a little bit taller. And there we go, give it a rotation. A little fun. I'm thinking about all of the, the negative spaces that are in between. So I want to make sure that I have something that's it's gonna show some of the goodies behind everything. I just want to change it up. So I think it's just pretty fascinating because you can go from something like this to something like this. And they're very similar, but of course they're, they're largely very different. And you've only spent like five minutes doing adjustments. I'm gonna show you one last thing. So I've already gone ahead and I've duplicated this, um, this drawing from the previous layer. So what I would do is um, I would select the bottom most layer and I would add a new layer, a new vector layer. 
And what I want to do is I want to paint in some tonal wash in that one. So, uh, you know, just go with the brush tool, go super, super light in the beginning, hold down the O key so you can go and uh, just start to paint in. And you can erase out the clouds if you want the clouds to be um, bright white. I'm going to start to go a little bit uh, darker, so progressively darker as I start to go and move forward. Because like sometimes you just want a line drawing. Um, this one is all shapes and this one is line work. So maybe it's better for it, depending on the style that you have, maybe you would rather just draw lines and then do color fills after the fact. Um, then this, this tutorial is probably for you, okay? Um, again, uh, the review with atmospheric depth is that as things get closer, they get brighter, they get more saturated, they have more contrast. So it's a little bit easier to see stuff as it comes forward. So maybe you want to give this a try. Um, it's a pretty fun technique um, to try to do your sketches. Uh, be careful as you're doing this because at some point you might notice that the line work that you have is probably going to be the same as the color fill. So you know, just be aware of that you can always go modify the specific layer. And here's kind of a fun thing you could do too. So notice I have some line work for some buildings. I could just go and draw in a couple of other buildings in the background and I can add other details. It's a, it's a fun little cheat because you don't always need an outline on your, on your characters or your, you know, your backgrounds and things like that. You can always, um, you can always use the viewer's imagination to be able to go and fill in some of the details. Okay. Go finishing up. Let's just give that last bit a bit of coloring. Okay. And you know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have the water. I'm just gonna fill that up. I'm gonna leave little holes inside so that way it looks kind of white. And you know what? Let me go a little bit lighter as well. And I'll put different different tones on top so that way it gives the impression that the water is reflecting. The last thing is to go super close to the composition and now that this thing is here it will really look like we're, we're on the, the cliff pretty close to this one. And you can, Based on how dark this is we're going to get the impression that it's a lot closer because it contrasts so much more um, strongly. <laughs> is that even a word? Uh, in a much more strong manner than the other stuff that's in the background. Um, yeah, we can push this even more. We can make this one come even closer by making some of these shapes really pop out. Okay, so give that a try. Um, one is to get your stuff onto multiple layers, duplicate those layers, move stuff around. After you're done doing that, um, Try this other technique where you're going to go sketch everything out. Then you're going to put in a layer that goes underneath all of them. And that layer is going to have a fill and you can just color everything. All right, guys, I hope that video was helpful. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.